Hello, my name is Kylie, and welcome to Ancient History, the Ancient Greeks Part 2. In this video, you will learn way more about the Ancient Greeks. The first video, the Ancient Greeks Part 1, goes through a general history timeline of Ancient Greek history. Now, we will focus on some interesting facts about Ancient Greek culture, beliefs, sports, philosophy, and more. The Ancient Greeks love to discuss all sorts of topics. Are you ready to listen? Let's go! The ancient Greeks were fascinating people. They loved to learn as much as they could about the world around them, how people think and learn, art, how people do sports, they are especially interested in the study of philosophy. Philosophy is the science of understanding how we think and teaches us to ask questions about how we live, think, get along with one another, religion, law, and how we learn new ideas. Some famous philosophers or great thinkers lived in Athens at the time the golden age of Greece was ending, circa 430 BC. Remember that circa means about because we were not sure exactly when they were born. Socrates was famous for investigating science and nature, as well as teaching young people to think hard about questions like, what would a wise person do? Or, what is the meaning of life? Unfortunately, Socrates' ideas were not popular with the rulers of the day. They held a trial and convicted Socrates of putting dangerous ideas in the minds of young people. He was sentenced to death and forced to drink poison. One of his students was named Plato. Plato also became a great philosopher. He thought leaders should be good and fair. Plato started a school called the Academy. He wanted to think about, discuss, and teach others about how to be good citizens and do what is best for the community. His most famous idea is that people should be responsible for their own actions and not blame others. Another famous philosopher who was Plato's student was Aristotle. He went to Plato's academy. He studied with Plato at the school for 20 years. Aristotle studied economics, which is how money and resources are made, bought, and sold. He also investigated law, sports, plants, and animals. One of the things we still see and sometimes use today from the ancient Greeks is their alphabet. Here is a chart of all the letters of the Greek alphabet. The ancient Greeks are one of a handful of ancient cultures to develop and use a consistent set of symbols for letters and to use those letters to form words. We use Greek letters today to organize and mark things. For example, we named the English alphabet to name our letter system. The first letter in the Greek alphabet is alpha, and the second letter is beta. Put them together and you get alphabet. You may have studied a part of math called geometry. Did you know the Greeks were one of the first people to explore this part of mathematics? Geometry is a study of shapes and points in space. Euclid is thought of today as the father of geometry. There are some schools that still use his textbooks about geometry today. It is pretty amazing that he wrote a math textbook that's been in use for over 2,300 years. <laughs> Pythagoras is another famous ancient Greek mathematician who discovered a mathematical formula relating to triangles. We now call it the Pythagorean Theorem. Archimedes is considered one of the best mathematicians in all areas of math. He lived in ancient Greece from circa 287 to circa 212 BC. Archimedes also worked on geometry and loved to investigate circles. Living healthy and staying free of disease was very important to the ancient Greeks. They believed health was affected by your emotions, where you lived, how rich or poor you were, what you ate, if you had a lot of injuries, and what you believed as a religion. 
Early on, the ancient Greeks believed that you would become sick if you angered the gods. Hippocrates was famous and very intelligent ancient Greek physician. A physician is another word for doctor. He thought up ways to approach solving medical problems like allergies, colds, and broken bones by thinking very carefully, recording careful measurements, and trying different treatments. He also is who we think thought and came up with the Hippocratic Oath, which many doctors still use today. This is a promise that doctors make to never harm anyone and only treat patients with honesty, kindness, and respect. The next time you're at a doctor's office, you may notice it hanging on the wall. The Greeks were famous for their love of all things sport. They invented the Olympic Games. Historians believe that the first Olympic Games were played in about 779 BC. In the beginning, only foot races were held as part of the competition. Other activities also took place to honor the Greek god Zeus. These activities included parties, singing, and the reading of poetry. As time went on, more and more sporting events were added. These games were held in the city-state of Olympia from 776 BC through 393 AD. After that, the Olympics were not held again for another 1,503 years. The first modern Olympics were held in Athens, Greece in 1896. Luckily today, we can enjoy the Winter and Summer Olympics every four years. Greek myths, or mythology, are a set of beliefs and stories told by the ancient Greeks to explain their religious system of belief and teach their citizens life lessons. These stories almost always had a hero that overcame a problem by making good choices and working really hard. These were lessons about things like the importance of being patient, not being greedy, not stealing, and more. They are made up fantasy stories about gods, monsters, and magic. The ancient Greeks believed in many different gods. This is called polytheism. The word polytheism is made of two different Greek words. Poly means many, and theism means gods or religions. Some of the most famous of these included Zeus, god of the sky, Hera, goddess of marriage, mothers, and families, Poseidon, god of the sea, Demeter, goddess of agriculture, Ares, god of war, and Athena, goddess of wisdom, war, and art. The ancient Greeks loved art in all forms. They considered art, music, poetry, writing, and science all equally important. Poetry was a way the ancient Greeks wrote about history, family events, love, and even education. There were many Greek poets in ancient Greek. One of the most famous was Homer. Homer wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey, poems about a war with Troy and a hero from the war who returns home. Ancient Greek art took the forms of paintings, poetry, sculptures, mosaics, and metalwork. It is still viewed in museums today. When the Romans took over ancient Greeks, they admired many of their art forms and copied their style. Here are a few examples of art from the ancient Greeks. I hope you enjoyed learning more about ancient Greek history and culture. Remember, this is part two of the series, so if you haven't already, go back and watch the Ancient Greeks part one. Practice what you've learned from both videos and more using our fun online games and quizzes. The next time you use the alphabet or work a math problem involving geometry, remember the Ancient Greeks and remember to always be clever. Hey! hey.